what do I love about my job? Hmm. I love the diversity, the spontaneity of the day to day. There are things about the agent's world that only we agents know. Your average Joe on the street wouldn't have a clue about. Like what? Give us an example. Well, we have different names for clients depending on their longevity in the agency. For example, we have floaters. So a floater is someone that we keep on board just in case they blow up unexpectedly. And then we have the hatched and loaded. So this is a client who is up and coming in the industry. And then we have a golden goose. What's a golden goose? A golden goose is someone who is constantly booking. Someone you know is going to get the job for whatever reason they're bookable. Jake Jones is no exception. He's one of our top gooses. Are you still rolling? What is it, Darren? I just got off the phone with Goldberg Casting. <gasps> yes, and? They said no to JJ Golden Goose. What? Why? They wouldn't give a reason. But Chan loves him. Not today. Tell Cindy to call Jake Jones and, and tell him to come in immediately. Look at you. Look at you. Nice blazer. Would you like something to drink? I'll take a whiskey. I don't think they'd be having any ice. Oh. I was just kidding. Oh. Yeah. How did the audition go with Chan? She was backed up with clients, so only got a chance to do one read. Mm -hmm. Usually those are the bookers, right? Right. Um, the part was for a James Bond-esque character. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm on a bit of a health kick. Um, did you get the memo about the tux or did he go dressed like this? Mm. I wore my best khakis, a shirt, the whole shebang. I don't think I've ever seen James Bond wearing khakis before. Didn't you wear khakis in Dr. No? No. No. No! Get those away from me. Oh god. Oh god. It's okay, Darren. I'll get rid of them. Well, maybe not all uh, of them. Hurry, I feel myself breaking out. Oh, I don't know where to put them. He's joking, right? He's very scared of donuts. I have a phobia. Well, personally, I think it's psychosomatic. It's called donophobia. It's not even a real name. You just made it up. Oh, I can smell them. Oh, God, the smell. Oh. The problem I'm having, Jake, is that up until now, you've been a solid booker. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. I have to say, Jake, I'm a little disappointed. Sure. Cindy, can you tell Darren to stop pacing? It's really distracting. The last thing I want to do is disappoint you. Well, it looks like we're on the same page. I love you guys. You're a great team and you always have my back. Well, I think the plan is to get you back on track. Sure. This one is for the big win. I want you to take a good look at this, Jake. Do you need more copies? I have more in my car. Take a good look, Jake. Handsome guy. Can you put the scratchies down for a second, please? Cindy, get the mirror. But now, please, I want you to take a good look in the mirror and tell me what you see. All right, I'm gonna approach this like an intervention. So I'm gonna have to be the bearer of bad news. Is he alright? I mean, I was completely shocked when he walked through the door. I didn't even recognise you at first. I mean, you look like you've not washed in days, and I'm pretty sure I can smell alcohol in your breath. Oh my god. These wake-up calls can be quite a shock. He needs a bag. What's he doing on the floor? He's hyperventilating. He's not breathing. It's okay. I played a paramedic on ER. Wow. Look at this, Darren. You got yourself a real James Bond. Hello, Wombat. Oh, that's wonderful. Bye. That was Dina. Niall Horan wants to meet with us. I can breathe. It's okay, I can breathe. And she's coming for a visit next week. 